Hi, Calculus. We are well on our way to deriving a formula for instantaneous velocity, and we will do it using this position function, f of x equals x squared. And we've been talking about average velocity, so uh, imagine we're trying to figure out the instantaneous velocity at time equals 4, 4 seconds into this scenario right here. Um, and we know that we can create a secant line near that point, and that'll give us the average velocity between those two points, and it'll be a good approximation, but we're gonna actually get to instantaneous velocity. So the way I wanna think about this is, let's um, reset this graph a little bit. So imagine you've got, we can uh, zoom in a little bit more here. Okay, so let's just say we want some point A. So let's just pick this guy. So we've got a point here and we're going to call it A. So let's just forget 4 for a second. Let's just turn off all this extra noise, turn off the grid line, turn off the axis numbers. And we're not even talking about a specific time here. It could be 4 seconds, it could be 14 seconds, it could be 32.8 seconds, it doesn't matter. It's just some x value A. And um, so at x value a, of course, we would have find out the y value of the graph, right? So f of a would be here. We would have our f of a. Let's give ourselves a little more room here. So we have f of a, and that would look like this. So we have some x value, we'll call it a, and then we evaluate the function. We plug a into x squared, and that gives us our f of a, gives us our y value, our distance. Okay. Now, instead of picking another point b, let's just say we're going to just add some arbitrary distance to a. So our next point is going to be a plus h, and we're just calling h some arbitrary distance. It could be one second, it could be 0.1 seconds, it could be 0 0.0001 seconds, but it's just some distance, and that's going to give us then our second point for a secant line. And if we go up to, you know, if we plug a plus h into x squared, then we are going to get our f of a plus h. We will get our y value, and we'll be able to use this scenario to create, to calculate average velocity, right? Okay, and so when we did that, we are um, back to just our standard average velocity function. So we can look at it like this and our average velocity would be our y2, which is f of a plus h, minus y1, which is f of a, over x2, which is a plus h, minus x1, which is a. And hopefully you see that that is, you know, a minus a. If we got rid of the parentheses, we just have a plus h minus a, which is really just h. So this is a formula for the average velocity on the interval a to a plus h, it's just this. Okay, but of course, we want to get to instantaneous velocity. So what we will do is, let's just take this h and make it smaller. So right now it's 1.7, and just an arbitrary number, and we can just make it smaller. So we're getting making h smaller and smaller, and let's bring it all the way down you know, now it's very small. So the secant line is getting very close to the point we're interested in. It's getting very close to that A. And we can bring this secant line closer and closer by making H smaller and smaller. And you can see that we could make H even smaller, right? We can make it infinitesimally small. And hopefully what you see, you see us doing is this. We are approaching 
we are making h approach 0. So if we take our average velocity function, our average velocity formula, and we add the criteria, or add taking the limit as h approaches 0, then we have instantaneous velocity. Because once h gets to 0, then we have the velocity at a point. Not a secant line, but a tangent line. And so there we go. That's the instantaneous velocity formula. We're just taking h and making it increasingly small uh, using this concept, the limit as h approaches 0. And then we're going, in that case, we're going from a secant line to a tangent line, from a secant line to the instantaneous velocity at a point, from the average velocity between two points to the instantaneous velocity at a point. Okay, so hope you, hopefully that helps from average velocity to instantaneous velocity.